Hi, this is Cynthia Marcus. So when you're creating a character to play on the stage, how can you do it? Well, mostly we think that we create from the inside out. We look at the role and then we look inside ourselves and find things that are similar. And of course that works extremely well because it's, it's authentic. And I'd like to tell you about two different experiences that I had creating characters. When I was in graduate school, I was able to play the role of Cho Cho San in uh, Madame Butterfly. And the wonderful thing about it was the stage director was Japanese. So he was obsessed with movement, how Cho Cho San moves how the steps are very tiny, how the steps are one foot placed in front of the other. And wearing this uh, kimono every day and wearing those sandals and sitting and always smoothing down the front of the kimono so that things stayed beautiful. It really, it went inside and it created the character for me from the outside in. And one of the things I love the most about Japan is the innate beauty in everything. Every gesture is considered. Every tiny look with the eyes is considered. Everything has been built into a beautiful whole and you don't mess around with the details. They're all very well thought out. So if you think of this, this Japanese girl who has grown up in this culture where Everything is ordered, basically. You don't get expansive and show things. Everything's controlled. And then you understand that she also has a heart that is looking for expansion. And when she finds this American man who is the absolute opposite of everything she's grown up with, her heart opens and she's willing to jump out of herself and out of everything that she's learned was correct in life to be another part of herself that she didn't even know existed. And this brings a poignancy with it because when she has those moments where she said, oh, I love you, and, and these things come out, it's coming out of a space that's quite different from what a Western woman would do because it's easier for us to say those things. So that's taking the character from the outside in. And then another amazing Puccini heroine, Minnie in La Fanchula del West, the girl of the Golden West. I sang this quite late in my career and I was stunned at how it brought me back to my own roots. Because if you look at her from the outside, well, her entrance is riding on a horse and shooting a gun up in the air. I mean, this woman is in charge. And for her youth, she is definitely in charge. She lives in a little mining town in the mountains in California, surrounded only by men. And she's everything to them. She has stepped up in her life to a degree that most people don't have to. She is the law to them. She decides how they can behave and how they can't behave or they have to leave her place. And they don't wanna leave because she's also, she's their mother, their sister. She can barely read herself, but she has reading lessons every night in her bar to teach these guys how to read, to help them have more in their lives. She's that soft, feminine also that's missing in their lives because they're just with a bunch of men. It's a rough, hard time. And then what's so interesting is that all came from the outside. And then what comes from the inside is the man that she eventually falls in love with is completely different. Just like Cho Cho San and the man she falls in love with, this man has been educated in Europe. He has polish, he has style, he has a pedigree. And suddenly, this big, powerful person that she was starts to crumble and she says, oh, 
I'm not worth anything and oh, oh I'm so awkward and oh I'm nothing compared to you and so that's the other way of finding a character. In the end, you have both. You have what's inside you already, and you have what comes from outside. So use them both. Look to see every tiny little place that you can dig for gold when you're looking for your character. So hope that was useful.